When I was in Toronto, I got a great workout in with Omar Isaf. It's a full-blown arm training session, so I hope that it motivates and inspires you while being informative at the same time. Welcome back to another training video. Today, we're smashing arms with Omar Isaf, which was also my final workout before leaving Toronto. I gotta say though, it went very well. It was efficient, effective, and very fast to perform. So as you can see, we're both doing the flat barbell bench press, although two totally different approaches are employed. Omar is doing five sets of four with 310 pounds, and I'm doing back off sets. So one peak set and then a gradual reduction every single time, also known as reverse pyramid training, which is nothing magical, but it works very well for raising your strength and size. So I recommend you give it a shot. So here's 275. All right, I'm pausing. So that's always good. And of course, you know, I got to have my equipment on. I just find it helps greatly with recovery. Plus, I was very fried from that workout with Jeff Nipper. This was done not even two days later, actually. So just doing my thing, getting some clean reps in. Lockout, it's a little bit hard, though. And as you can see with Omar, looking super smooth. And I got to say, he's getting way bigger. I believe he's 190 pounds in this video. And his bench press one or max is currently 375. Although I would say if he peaked, he's got 380 or more quite easily in my opinion and what I like about his approach is that he's taking the slow route and he's really trying to avoid eagle lifting as much as possible so he's always got spotters with him for one even though he's got safety pins and also he chose to do 310 pounds not 315 you see the difference so that's what I'm talking about he's taking the longevity route and he's slowly gaining weight like he told me hey I can easily bulk to 200 right now and go on a more aggressive routine but you know what I want to stay safe and I want to do this the clean way so I really respect that, man. Anyway, on my part, that's what I was talking about with the close grip. I can't even decide what I'm doing. And the suicide grips keep changing, which I don't really recommend, but uh, I've been doing it because I find it to be a little bit helpful with my hypermobility. And it's a little bit better in recovery for the shoulders, which I believe is important, but I'll probably make a video on that soon. Um, so yeah, here's Omar, final set. See what I'm talking about with those longer pauses, man? So that was really good stuff. Now, let us begin the arm portion. So we did the heavy weights. It's time for some volume. We're doing five sets of 20 push down, superset with five sets of 20 cable curl. Now, you can't see this because we're recording each other, but normally when I'm doing the curls, he's doing the push downs. And then the moment we're done, we switch. And it's back and forth, no rest. That's what I mean by this workout being efficient. At the same time, you don't have to go stupid heavy. As you'll notice with the stack, it's really nothing that crazy, but it feels heavier because you're using the low rest intervals and you're getting a crazy freaking pump. If you try 5 by 20 man, it forces you to drop your ego. And also, I want you to pay attention to that clock. Like, you'll see that this workout was not that long. I would argue that the bench press was the longest part because it's a heavy compound movement and you can't just bang it out like this, right? Now, some would call this fluff and pump, and maybe they're right. But you know what, man? I think isolation work is extremely important. And building up those arms especially if your torso dominant and they match the lag and omar and i both have this problem actually so i feel that it's always good to do some push downs and curls and all those types of exercises and we started off with the cable version not as a pre-exhausting technique because there's, there's a lot of bro science associated with that but just to warm up everything you know get a really nice pump going on on both sides and uh, then when you move on to the free weighted exercises it just naturally feels heavier and you can get more or less weight Plus, it's just arms, man. It's just pumping it up, right? You don't have to go stupid heavy. And actually, I tested my one rep max on a strict curl. It was 130 pounds. I never even do that exercise. Although, I, I do perform heavy weighted chins and all that. So anyway, here's the overhead cable extension and hammer curl superset. I really like the way both these movements affect your arm development. The extensions done overhead will build the long head of your triceps, which is the missing link for many people who have smaller arms. There, that's the... There you go. Got the nice triceps. Shot. We're good. Yeah, do a Josh angle. Fuck, man. And with the cable, it feels really nice, man, because the strength curve is not the same as uh, straight weights. And then, of course, the hammer curls. We're not going heavy, but we're pumping it out. Okay, and the hammer curl is going to build a brachialis and just bicep in general. It's always a great exercise to perform. A lot of people aren't treating this seriously enough and actually it can help in reducing elbow pain as well. So I really recommend these. And actually I learned the tricep flexing at the bottom technique from John Meadows. So it's full range of motion. We're not doing slow and controlled, but we are using pretty good form and we're squeezing at the top. So that's all there is to it. Hammer curls. We're dropping our ego. We aren't throwing weights around. 
Instead, we're going back and forth. Low rest interval is getting a crazy pump. And with the 5x20, you will feel it 100% guaranteed. So now we've got Omar Isaf here doing the extensions. And his form is a little bit different than mine. But the pump is still insane. And you can clearly see that the guns are hugging the sleeves. And there you have it. Another nice angle right there. Now we go straight into the curls again. We're trying to use good form here. And for Omar, even though he's 190 pounds, you can still see the bicep veins coming out. And even though he's torso dominant like me, gotta say, man, his arms still look pretty good. Actually, I would say that Omar Esau provides a realistic expectation for real natural lifters. And he actually looks really freaking jacked, um, especially when he takes the right pictures under correct lighting and angles and everything. You see, he's always been realistic in the way that he portrays his physique. And I feel that a lot of lifters don't give him enough credit for how strong and jacked he actually is. So big props to Omar for always keeping it real and showing what the right path is for naturals. So anyway, we're moving on to another superset, which is the easy bar extension and easy bar curl. There's a little bit less uh, pressure on the wrists and it tends to be a little bit more favorable on the elbows. Now, Omar is doing the classic skull crusher, whereas my form is a little bit different. And for the curls, we're using the same weight, which is 55 pounds. And honestly, you really don't need more than that if you're doing reps of 15 to 20 and using proper form with the low rest intervals, obviously. So again, it goes back to what I've been saying the entire segment. We're getting more out of less weight, which is what this is all about. That's how you make the arm workouts efficient. So anyway, you can never go wrong with classic barbell curls, and I see nothing wrong with doing the easy style instead of the straight bar. You're still gonna get amazing development. It doesn't matter if your wrist is in a slightly neutral position, you're still stimulating the arms, and if you induce progressive overload, you're gonna be just fine. Now, here's the difference in our technique. My head is a little bit off the bench, right? But I'm still touching my forehead. But you see how far back my arms are behind my body? With this method, I don't have to do the pullover uh, motion, but I still have some really good long head activation. And at the same time, we went heavy already on the close grip bench. So why are we going to load up crazy numbers on a skull crusher, right? When there's a way to load it in a way that's elbow friendly and still gives you amazing size gains. So then just like Omar, right into the easy bar curls, okay? I'm trying to flex my tries at the bottom. Um, I don't really concern myself with my uh, elbows moving forward. That's perfectly fine. It's mainly the fact that you don't want to swing, okay? It's not a cheat curl. And I found in my experience that there's a huge difference between cheat curl strength and strict curl strength, okay? But as long as it looks decent, you're good. Anyway, here's the final superset, which was Omar's idea. Close grip incline push-up and chin up or pull-up. Very effective at the end of a workout because you're so tired at this point that just doing regular bodyweight movements feel challenging. And it's just a great way to finish. So we basically started off with heavy exercise. Then we did a lot of volume in the middle. And then we're going back to kind of like a hybrid at the end. We're both freaking pumped like crazy. And it's crazy because the arm part was so fast. Two compound movements that have stood the test of time. Both are going to help in raising your arm size. May not be optimal in isolation, but hey, you throw that in for some extra volume. It's always a good thing in my books. But anyway, we had a great time. And I'm so happy that I got this freaking workout in, man. And by the end of it, like we were both really looking swole man because that's what happens buys and tries you know so it's very uh bro-ish but not full-on bro arms like i think we were pretty intelligent with the exercise selection it's not overdone i don't feel like there's too much junk volume like to me it's just right it's, it's just it's well done all right so here's the chin-ups i'm still able to do them um you can notice that my tank top is inside out that happens sometimes eh but there you go full range of motion and i'm touching my chest to the bar and there you go, bro. By the end, like, you just can't even freaking move. You're, there's all kinds of blood in the muscles. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this awesome arm training with Omar Yusuf. So that's it, guys. Just finished an arm workout with Omar Yusuf. Hope you enjoyed the workout. Make sure to check out his channel if you haven't already, but I'm sure you have. And with that said, we'll see you next time. Peace.